guys, it's Anaïs and welcome to my channel. I'm happy to present you today this Easter face painting. So if you want to see how I created this makeup look, then keep on watching. Firstly, as always, I'm applying a base to my lid to prevent everything from creasing using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Then I'm applying the Illusion Lasting Wear Foundation from W7 in the shade Buff, only on the part around the eyes. I'm using now the Prolong Grey Concealer from MAC, lightly under my eyes. And setting all of that with the Prep and Prime Translucent Powder from MAC. Now on the eyes, I'm using the amazing Surprise Eggs palette from I Heart Revolution. I love the concept and the design of it, and the eyeshadows are actually really pigmented. I'm applying the Satiny Red in the crease and intensifying it with the Matte Red, which is almost the same color but maybe a little more pigmented. With my finger, I'm applying the satiny red on the lid and also on my lower lash line and lightly on the temples. Then, I'm adding the gold highlighter on the inner corner and mixing the bronze and gold highlighter on the brow bone. I'm drawing a graphic liner using a cream eyeliner from e.l.f. Beginning by drawing my wing liner And then adding a point on my inner corner to elongate the eyes on the lower lash line for now I'm focusing the liner on the outer corner and then dragging it down kind of creating a new inner corner I'm using a black eye pencil from black up on my top and bottom waterline to intensify the liner Then, I'm applying some feather eyelashes and applying the 3-in-1 mascara from Wet n Wild on my top lashes, trying not to cover the feather. And finally, covering the glue marks with a black liner. Now, on the face, with a white pencil from Golden Rose, I'm drawing the shape I want for the eggshell. To redefine my brows, I'm using the Drawing Eye Brown Pencil from Etude House. and then simply brushing them. On my face, I'm using a water activated paint from Meron Paradise in the shade light brown, trying to match the color of an actual eggshell. Approximately following the white lines,
I'm using a dark brown water activated paint with a texturized sponge to recreate the tiny blemishes that you can find on an actual egg. And so, I'm really lightly taping the center of my face with the sponge. With a white water activated paint, I'm properly drawing the eggshell cracks. Using the Natural Light Bronzama L from the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D, I'm adding shadows around the cracks. With C3, the warm dark brown, I'm adding dimension around the major cracks. And with the black shacks, I'm adding touches of intensity at the beginning of the cracks, while be careful to not use too much of it. Now I'm highlighting the cracks by reapplying the white water activated paint on some white areas to make them pop. And finally, I'm slightly adding some really thin black cracks randomly on my cheeks and forehead. And that's it guys! Thank you so much for watching! If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more upcoming videos.